Hello everyone, this is Xander Shem again from Ghostlands EU and this is part 13 of the World of Warcraft Cataclysm Let's Play. We are in Deep Home, we just managed to get the middle fragment of the World Pillar and we need to get the last fragment who is found on Ferrazin's person and Ferrazin isn't too happy with us. She's not a particularly nice elemental and because of what we've been doing with the Earthen, apparently she doesn't like the Earthen. I really, this is what I don't understand. I still don't understand why Ferrazin hates the Earthen or is fighting the Earthen or helping the Trogs against the Earthen. And because we've been helping the Earthen, the Ferrazin is pissed off. She doesn't like her involvement in the area anymore. And guess what she does? Yeah, she tries to kill us. Uh, really unsuccessfully because we are. Because this is the Earthen Ring, and they're very, very good at fighting against elementals. I even know elemental weaknesses, and they can summon their own elementals. Because right, what we've got actually right now is we've actually got Earth elementals fighting the combined forces of air, fire, and water elementals. Well, actually, no water, but air and fire elementals uh, summoned by the Earthen Ring. So it kind of is actually going to be a successful strategy. If Ferrazin actually continues her assault here, she probably will kill the Earthen Ring because this is the domain of Earth. All she has to do is continue to make Earth Elementals. Oh, I'm not even sure if she can actually do that. I don't know if... Uh, this is what I don't understand again. How do Earth Elementals get created? Are they born? That's a hideous thought. Really hideous. No, no, get that thought out of my head. No, 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 no. Okay, they must be created, but these obviously these uh, big Elementals aren't. Uh, it's kind of weird, I don't really understand it. Uh, currently, the Earthen Ring are in last ditch defense to save the middle structure. Ferrazin's going on an all out attack, and we have been we have been tasked with killing some Earth Elementals, um, making sure to give some of the uh, forces of the Earthen Ring a rest while we're taking down some of these bigger Earth Elementals. And we've also got one of these uh, ropes which we're going to be using to pull down the bigger Earth Elementals. Basically what happened in Star Wars, which is, a, I don't know if it is a Star Wars reference because it can be done for almost anything. This is where you tie the legs of a big monstrosity and it just falls down. I just know it's from Star Wars like, with a speed, with a snow strider. I don't really know what the Star Wars. Uh, Snow speeder, I think it was, with that line to take down the eighty eighties. That's probably wrong. I don't think I don't even know if it is an eighty eighty. I think it's an eighty eighty. Um what we saw there was that the forces leading the earthen ring or the elementals attacking the earthen ring there wasn't very happy and decided to just whack us and Instead of actually trying to talk to him, we decided to try to find the most reasonable uh, elemental in the area, which was Diamant the Patient, which tells us to prove his loyalty by taking down some of these Twilight Hammer. Now, there is a skip in the questing here. I'm sorry, guys, but apparently I somehow managed to lose the recording. I think I'd managed to press F7 by accident, and I didn't realize that I had to stop the recording. The quest you have to do here is kill Dragal, go Giant Butcher, kill 12 Lafunos, get Cultus. Um, Pick um, six crystals off all these cats here, combine them together to summon a worm which will go around killing everything. And the other thing is we need to use the stone pick here to save some of these earthlings who have been captured by the twilight hammer and have been used to uh, turn into slaves, I take it. I think they're using them for slaves anyway. Uh, the quest here is we had to collect the pinite ore from inside this worm uh, keep, or, ah, not worm keep, it's like a worm tunnel, it's a massive worm tunnel, make sure to avoid that big worm, otherwise it will kill you, well it won't kill you, it will cause you a lot of damage, and it will just drag you around and hurt you, and that's about it, there wasn't, we did not actually miss that many quests, we just completed the quest in that Twilight Hammer area, and then we were told to go there and get the pain I door, and that's about it, so thank you for, uh, so, uh slah, why did I say thank you for watching, I'm going completely over my words here for no reason, uh, we are talking to Ferris in here, Ferrazin is apparently allowing us to give the benefit of the doubt, but only barely, because she threatens us with some horrific images of if we try to defy her, she will crush every single bone in our body and we'll be able to feel every single one of them breaking slowly. That's horrific, and considering this is a 12's game, that is really a horrific image, but considering no one reads any quest text, I guess most people don't understand what she was referencing there. But if, if you really want to see how 
evil she is or how heartless she is that is what you have to read she is not a nice person now I have actually heard some reference that Ferrazin is actually the stone mother referred to from the Tauren this isn't confirmed but apparently it's on Wowpedia and I don't know if this is true it might not be true it most probably isn't true but it does seem quite weird that, if, that the Tauren would think and the earth mother uh, yeah, it's kind of not very... And it's not a person you really want to be looking out, up to and praising. But uh, maybe the Tauren are just weird. We, they are cow people, so maybe they have got some weird customs. Uh, the quest we have to do here is we have to kill 12 Jasper Tip Flayers. We have to collect uh, 8 Chalky Crystal Formation. And we need to reform 6 Stone Bird Elementals. If you, want, if you can't find any Chalky Crystal... Uh, formations anywhere. You can kill the Jasper Tip Flayers and they will drop the Chalk Formation most of the time. The the uh, the Swarmers, however, the small ones that have lower HP and do little less health, do not drop any of the hit points. Now once you completed that quest for the guy that somehow thinks it was a brilliant idea to get himself encased in the freaking earth, you get a, a series of quest lines where you have to help this very, very cute little rock elemental who might be using mind control because he is using googly eyes and apparently that could be mind control. I don't know who, I don't know if Earth from Elementals can actually use mind control, but the way he's telling you uh, us what to do when we seem to be bowing to his every whim does sound like mind control, or at least a, su a suggestion. That's what every freaking cute thing. If cats did not, if cats did not look cute, people would not have them as pets. That's the reason. A cat, you can excuse a cat for scratching you, hissing at you, because it just looks at you so cute, and it's just you know, it looks so sad when it looks up to you with those eyes, and you just can't, uh, you you can't think badly of it. Uh, apparently, the Earth Elemental vote does want some petrified stone bats, and the other quest. Uh, requires you to kill a basilisk, which for some reason is causing the Earth Elementals a bit of trouble. Usually they do not fear basilisks because they really don't, you know, cause them that much concern. I mean, they turn them into stone, and considering they are stone, that really doesn't concern them that badly. But apparently this basilisk has somehow become really, really powerful. He's turning really powerful elementals into complete stone, making them useless whatsoever. So they have to, to take him out and cull the local wildlife. Uh, once you've completed that quest, you get sent into two different directions. You can either go and help these quests here with Terra the Steady and do some quests regarding the Stone Drakes, or you can go down to the south and do some quests regarding... I have no idea. I think it's Trog involvement with some really weird sort of... Uh, it's a lot of weird sort of... Uh, yeah, I think it's the Trogs doing something with... Uh herbs or something, and I think they're doing something to to grow, like, natural wildlife, which is kind of weird inside this, the realm of stone. Uh, once you get a quest where you have to collect the mallet, the reason you need this mallet is you need it to summon the leader of the stone drakes, where apparently the stone drakes have decided to be very, very mean, and they decided to rebel against their earth elemental overlords. I don't know if they are actually earth elemental overlords, or whether the stone drakes are actually intelligent. They don't seem to be intelligent, but they might be, and for some reason they are at odds with what the Earth Elementals want. Want they become a bit too aggressive, and in order to deal a blow and make sure the Earth Elementals are safe, they decided to cull the numbers quite a bit. And that's what we're going to be doing here. We just wait for them to be pulled from the sky, and then we just complete and make sure to uh, make sure to kill them while they're on the ground. Uh, once you complete those quests, you get a quest where you have to attack the Pale Resident Crystal, and this should make Aesora appear, and then you need to kill Aesora by jumping around all these bricks and stones here and avoiding her spells. But apparently, the quest was bugged there, so I decided to go all the way down to the other quest mob and hope that it was fixed later. And later in the quest chain, we in the next video actually, it is okay, it's perfectly fine, we do manage to... Um, we do manage to complete that quest later, and for some reason it was bugged at that point in time. Uh, the guy here is, I think he's called Gorsik the Tumultuous. He isn't that particularly... He's, he's not 
completely aggressive, but he's not like Diamant, he's not as trustworthy. Apparently the Trogs have been doing some weird things with the wildlife here, and there is a massive mushroom expanse occurring here. Tons of mushrooms around the place, tons of weird auras, and this is not something the Earth Elementals particularly like. Uh, this is the end of the video for, uh, for now guys, in the next video we're going to be dealing with what the trolls are actually doing in this zone. So if I, uh, trogs, not trolls. Uh, so thanks for watching guys, I hope you liked this video, I hope to see you in part 14 of the World of Warcraft Cataclysm Let's Play. If you want to like the video please like, if you want to subscribe please subscribe, and if you want to comment please comment. So thanks for watching guys, I hope to see you again, and peace out.